10 times Naruto was a terrible rival. Naruto Uzumaki quickly established himself as Sasuke Uchiha's rival, but his goofy behavior and arrogant ways sabotaged this rivalry at times. In the story of Naruto, the hero Naruto Uzumaki has everything to prove. He was cursed from birth, being the unwitting vessel of the dreadful nine-tailed fox, and he didn't have his heroic father Minato Namikaze or his kind mother Kushina to look after him. So, Naruto quickly became competitive and self-absorbed, not always in a good way. Once Naruto graduated from the Ninja Academy, his rivalry with Sasuke Uchiha reached new heights. Especially since both boys were on the same ninja team, along with Sakura Haruno. They often challenged each other as rivals, but for one reason or another, Naruto was often a weak rival. Either because he fell behind, had a bad attitude, or something else entirely. When was Naruto not worthy of being Sasuke's rival? And when was he a lousy rival to someone else? 10. When Naruto called Sasuke a loser in front of everyone. Many scenes in the first few arcs of Naruto deepened the rivalry between Naruto and Sasuke, and the two of them became proper enemies in Naruto Shippuden. For now, early in the series, Naruto was a poor rival to Sasuke simply because he had a terrible attitude. Naruto annoyed Sasuke and his classmates more than a few times with his boasting. And once Naruto and Sasuke ended up on the same team, Naruto protested, calling Sasuke a loser and suggesting that Sasuke would weigh him down. As Irika Yumino pointed out, the opposite was true. 9. When Naruto imitated Sasuke to impress Sakura. This was more of a harmless prank than anything but it did show some poor sportsmanship and a serious lack of maturity or tact on Naruto's part. During some downtime, Naruto captured Sasuke with a rope and used the transformation jutsu to assume Sasuke's likeness. Then, Naruto approached Sakura in this disguise and tried to learn what Sakura really thought of him. It was a cheap move, and it gave Sasuke every reason to mistrust Naruto as an immature and self-centered trickster. This is not how an honest, honorable rival behaves. 8. When Naruto failed to cooperate with Sasuke against Kakashi. In all fairness, all three members of the newly formed Team 7 failed to properly fight as a proper ninja squad against their common foe. Kakashi Hataki. Sakura was too fixated on Sasuke to help Naruto, and Sasuke was arrogant enough to take on Kakashi alone. Naruto, meanwhile, wanted to prove his worth by passing Kakashi's bell test alone. And he didn't even try to cooperate with Sasuke or learn from him. He did make some impressive progress, but Naruto should have involved Sasuke in his plans, so they could impress each other as teammates. 7. When Naruto froze up against some missed Chunin. Naruto couldn't stand deranked missions, so he urged the third Hokage to give his team a tougher assignment. Sure enough, Team 7 was assigned a C-ranked mission. To escort Tizuna a bridge builder back home to the Land of Waves. Along the way, two Mist Village Chunin ambushed the group. Naruto froze up at once, terrified at the sight of real enemy ninja on a proper battlefield. Instead of fighting back and setting a good example, Naruto stood like a deer in the headlights as Sasuke got to work. Then Kakashi finished the job, and Naruto was left looking rather foolish. Some rival he is. 6. When Naruto forced Sasuke to make a near-fatal sacrifice. Neither Naruto nor Sasuke had the skills to take on Haku the rogue ninja alone, but even then, Naruto could have handled this situation better than he did. On the partially completed bridge, Sasuke got himself trapped inside Haku's ice crystal mirror array, and Naruto decided to help. Sasuke had hoped that Naruto would support him from outside the array. But instead, Naruto thoughtlessly joined Sasuke, and this prompted Sasuke to intercept a handful of deadly needles to protect Naruto. Instead of challenging Sasuke, Naruto forced his teammate to make a risky move. 
that's no good. 5. When Naruto encouraged inappropriate behavior from Kanoamaru. The infamous sexy jutsu was one of Naruto's first ever pranks seen in the series, and it didn't take him long to teach it to someone else. Early in the series, Naruto formed a rivalry with the young Kanoamaru, and of course, he showed the boy how to perform this X rated jutsu. And that's not all. To prove this jutsu's effectiveness, Naruto had himself and Kanoamaru perform it, then walk right into a locker room and see if anyone there would be fooled. Surprise, no one fell for the trick, and the boys got kicked right out. This is not what the Hokage's grandson should be learning. 4. When Naruto challenged literally everyone at the Chunin exams. Naruto was definitely getting stronger by the time the Chunin exam arc began, but Naruto could barely even handle Sasuke as a rival let alone every single genin taking part in this exam. When Naruto and his team entered a crowded room including Kabuto Yakushi, Naruto seemed to feel rather intimidated. But not so fast. Naruto was actually trying to contain his excitement, and he soon cried out and announced his name, and declared his intent on defeating everyone there. What kind of dedicated rival does that? Sakura was not amused. And Sasuke probably thought poorly of Naruto for it, too. Kabuto didn't mind, though. 3. When Naruto couldn't convince Sasuke to stay in the Leaf Village. Convincing Sasuke to abandon his quest and stay with the Leaf Village would have been difficult for anyone. But as Sasuke's rival, Naruto could have tried a bit harder. At the time, their rivalry was fiercer than ever, and Sasuke felt insecure about how much Naruto had caught up to him. So, Sasuke opted to leave the village and seek power with the Sound Four, but even after an intense fight and some heartfelt words, Naruto couldn't convince Sasuke to return home. If Naruto had formed a friendlier rivalry with Sasuke, then perhaps Naruto himself could have helped Sasuke attain the power necessary to fight Itachi Uchiha. No guarantee of that. But it's an intriguing thought. A good enough rival can bring out the best in anyone, even a prodigy like Sasuke. Could Naruto have been that rival? 2. When Naruto challenged Sasuke before he was ready. Early in Naruto Shippuden, Naruto was even stronger than before, and he and Sakura actually passed Kakashi's bell test. However, Naruto was also greatly preoccupied with finding Sasuke, and this drove him to seek out Sasuke not long after Gara of the Sand was rescued from the Akatsuki organization. Naruto Sakura, Sai, and Yamato broke into one of Orochimaru's hideouts, and sure enough, Sasuke was there. However, Naruto was not ready for this showdown, and Sasuke could have killed Naruto on a whim. Naruto should have had a little more patience and discretion than this. 1. When Naruto used the reverse harem jutsu on Kagaya. In all fairness, Naruto was getting a little desperate, and he was just being true to himself when he pranked Princess Kagaya of the Atsutsuki clan. But still, this was a serious fight, and Naruto totally derailed things when he used his most ridiculous jutsu style. During this leg of the story, Naruto and Sasuke were certainly impressed with each other's capabilities. But then Naruto used the reverse harem jutsu to confuse Kagaya with a handful of seductive men and thus land a free blow on her. It was a silly sight, to say the least, and Sasuke probably wasn't impressed. <laughs>